Typhoons are frequent in the Philippines. It is said that an average of 20 typhoons hit the country every year. This results to further flooding in different areas that are polluted with different kinds of waste. It also affects the people living in areas that are prone to flooding and are faced with problems related to relief operations and temporary sheltering since there are still problems that need to be addressed in the DRRM of the Philippines. Good morning, Mr. Quetzon. So, I heard that you made a research that addresses the problems involving the pre- and post-evacuation here in the Philippines. And you also made a raft that has pet bottles as its base and it also includes a wind turbine. So, what was the reason as to why you decided to make this research? The raft can help people be more comfortable and give them some privacy. We would also like to promote recycling and renewable sources of energy. So why did you use pet bottles for the raft? Just like I said earlier, we wanted to promote recycling to reduce plastic pollution in our environment since we all know that it is very harmful which leads to global warming. Thank you Mr. Gonson. Next, we'll go to the location of the raft. So, what was your aim in making the wind power? Our aim is to promote the use of alternative sources of energy and being environmental friendly in the Philippines. That is why we decided to incorporate the use of wind turbine generator. The wind turbine is capable of powering up to one watt cycle. The researchers search for at least 500 pet bottles that they will use for the raft. Then, they tied the bottles together using nylon strings. How they did the research was they separated the data gathering for the raft and wind turbine, although the two are similar in design. There were three different levels and 30 minutes were allotted for each treatment level with an interval of 10 minutes each. For every interval, data was gathered. In the case of the raft, three persons were added for each treatment level, while for the turbine, the strength of the wind was increased every treatment level. A total of nine persons were able to enter the raft. They concluded that the raft can withhold the weight of an average household size of 4.4 persons, while on the other hand, they concluded that the wind turbine is effective since it can power up a 1 watt light bulb and partially illuminate a 6 watt light bulb. It is also capable of charging up a power bank. In our current generation, we are continuously progressing with health research, and hopefully in the future, we get to find solutions in the problems that we are facing today.